This is question one of uh, IIT exam 2021. Let's see what the question is saying. And, you know, we are going to cover a lot of such questions as part of our mock test. This is one of those which talks about the shifting of the IS curve. But, you know, we should be knowing all the reasons that lead to the shift of the IS curve. So we would be covering more reasons also. Now, let's see what the question is saying. When the expected future marginal product of capital increases. Now, because this is talking about the, uh, you know, increase in the marginal product of capital, whether it is expected increase or whether it is actual increase. Please understand that an increase in the marginal product implies that, and you know, marginal product of capital actually, this implies that ideally your capital is going to produce more per unit, right? For every increase, in increase in the unit of capital, the addition that is going to be made to the output would be higher. So, you know, whenever this happens, ideally what will happen, there will be an increase in the investment. Firms would want to do more investment because there is increase in the marginal product of capital. Now, let us try and see this in the savings investment uh, plane. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and take my savings and investment on the x-axis. And on the y-axis, I'm going to take my investment. Supposedly, this is my investment function. I know it has to be downward sloping because as interest rate decreases, investment increases. And this is my savings function. As interest rate increases, savings also increase. This is my equilibrium. This is my equilibrium interest rate. And this is my savings, which are equal to investment. Now, when I'm expecting my marginal product to increase, Ideally, my investment is going to increase at any interest rate. So my investment curve is going to shift to the right. And this will be my new investment curve. With this new investment curve, I'm going to have my new equilibrium here at E dash. This will be my new interest rate. And this will be my new savings and investment. So ideally, we are going to see an increase in the amount of investment. Now, we know that the equation for the IS curve is y is equal to c plus i plus g plus nx. Since our investment is increasing, we know that you know, our IS curve has to shift to the right. Any of these factors, whether it is increase in consumption, autonomous consumption, investment, government expenditure or net exports, any of these factors, if they increase, it causes the IS curve to shift to the right. So what is going to happen is that in the RY plane, if initially my IS curve was this, my new IS curve would be here. It would shift to the right. So the answer for this question is shifts up and to the right. Ideally, I'm saying that either you can say it is shifting to the right or you can say it is shifting upwards. For the same output, interest rate is higher. We see this, right? For the same output, interest rate has increased. Alternatively, you can say for the same interest rate, output is higher. 
for this for any given interest rate we have a higher level of output because investment is increasing so the correct answer is a